All right, I'm gonna uh, make a video about this Garmin here. Uh, the Garmin Diesel 7, 700, I guess. It's, you know, I got it on sale, so it's a little bit older, but this thing today just saved my butt because this shipper over here outside Chicago, um, Wheatland Tubing, uh, right off of, um, I guess it's called Western Ave or Western Boulevard, uh, right off the 55 there. Um, it's a pain in the ass to get to. Uh, everywhere you go, there's like a 12 foot five bridge for, or train trussle. So Google and Street View was out of the question. I mean, I, I used it. That's how I knew, you know, that I ended up having to use my Garmin because uh, there's no way out. You know, I looked like five or six different streets just trying to look back and forth and I couldn't figure out a way to get here. Uh, that did involve ripping the roof off uh, of the truck. I'm pretty sure it's, this truck I'm pretty sure is at least 13 feet tall. It might be a little less, but I don't think it's 12.5. Um, so, that being said, I'm going to try to screen mirror um, the directions to uh, show you how this Garmin works and how easy it is to send direct, uh, send addresses to it. And um, I don't know, it's, it's a lot better than my older Ram Magnelli I had. Um, I guess I just, I just got tired of the Ram Magnellis taking a shit all the time. Uh, I could maybe only ever get a year out of them. Even taking, uh, taking them off the dashboard and you know putting them on the seat when uh, when I wasn't using the truck, so that you know the heat wasn't getting to it. Either the screen would go, or it would just start locking up. So uh, so far, I've gotten about six months out of this uh, Garmin without any problems. So, here goes. All right, so I'm gonna uh, show you how easy it is here to use this uh, Garmin diesel app to find addresses and stuff. So let's say you get an address from the broker or whatnot, and you, of course, you know, everyone Googles it. And my battery's almost dead here. Uh, so here we go, we got Western Boulevard. All right, so this is uh, Wheatland Tubing. So, just simply here, you just copy the address right from the broker or whatnot. Get out of here. I'm gonna go over to our Garmin Diesel app. All you do is simply copy and paste it. Finds the address. Bam, it's right there. And get out of here and as you can see it automatically pulls it up it knows I'm already here but it automatically pulls it right up on the Garmin there no uh, no having to go through there and type in numbers and your address and everything you know it's quick simple and easy just like that and magically it, it got me here like I said uh, routed me through all the bridges I mean through all the train trestles um, yeah, it was perfect. Uh, I have an atlas back here, and yeah, it showed me. You know, I could. I looked, and it showed me the, uh, you know, the train trussels. But you know, there are so many of them over here. If you ever been in this side of Chicago, there's a huge, huge, um, a huge rail yard over here, and it like devours like the whole area. So I'm gonna pull this around now. So, like I said, that's my little easy review of the, uh, the Garmin uh, Diesel 700. Um, it also has voice commands and stuff too, but, you know, it's, um, it is what it is. Uh, I still use Google and, and everything. Yeah, okay, it's recorded. Yeah, I still use Google and, and Street View and, and double check things, um, read reviews on where I'm going. Uh, but yeah, today that saved my butt because I was itching my head trying to figure out how the hell to get over here. Because, like I said, the, this rail yard, I, you know, I get, you know, it's old and everything was built around it. So 
you know, instead of uh, replacing the crumbling train trussles that you go under, or, you know, or even digging out, you know, they only have to dig a foot, you know, since the train trussles look like they're, I don't know, 12, they look like they're 12.6, I think they said on them. So if you dug down a foot, you could get a truck under them. So instead of just, you know, doing that, they're just gonna, you know, <laughs> make you have one way in and one way out around here. So, hey, it's cheaper, I guess, for them in the long run. But, um, yeah, but so far, so good. Um, still living the life, AC free here, and, um, yeah. So, that's my little video about the Garmin 7, um, 700 uh, diesel OTR. I don't know, I don't know exactly what the heck the number is. But, if you're in, in you know, interested in a truck GPS unit, I recommend it. Um, so far, most of the times, if I've ever used it, it's programmed me um, similar, pretty similar ways to Google. Um, there's times where I had my older Ram McNally, and these are all updated, you know, that's, that's a key thing to make sure you update them. Which, nice thing about this, compared to my little bit older Ram McNally, is I can hook it up to Wi-Fi and, and it'll update like that. Um, my other Ram McNally had Wi-Fi, but it was only for like weather and stupid stuff, and um, it, it wouldn't update over Wi-Fi. You had to plug it in and download the, uh, the program onto your computer or whatnot. So that's that's so far. I've, I like that a lot more. Uh, it also gives me pretty reputable traffic too, because uh, it connects Bluetooth with the phone. So whatever. Well, I guess wherever it gets its information from with Google or whatnot, it, it knows, you know, usually knows the traffic. And like I said, the routes, um, the routes usually overlay Google unless there's like, a, you know, something that's a truck, Pacific truck route. Uh, I haven't had it take me up and over and like 20, 30 miles out of route like the Ram Nelly has a few times. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. It don't get used very much, only in situations like this usually. Um, but other than that, that's that's my little review. So maybe I'll, I'm sitting here bored. I'll probably make a couple more videos. So.